I am a YouTube reactor, so I want to ask my subs their opinions and thoughts on how this will affect reaction videos. Can you help? It looks like Sony Music is reportedly in discussions to acquire Queen's music catalog for about $1 billion. This deal would include the rights to classic hits such as Bohemian Rhapsody and We Will Rock You. Alright, so, what do you guys think? I have just recently started down the Queen rabbit hole, really. Especially as a reactor. So, I don't know. I just done this little AI program for the first time. <laughs> it's not exactly what I wanted, but I didn't put my little touches on it either. We'll finish her up, though as well as other business opportunities related to the band's legacy. The sale, if it goes through, would be one of the largest single artist music catalog transactions ever in streaming. LP, CT, CD, DVD, Blu-ray history. The potential acquisition by Sony is significant because Queen's catalog is currently owned by Queen Productions LTD, which is equally shared by the surviving members of Queen and Freddie Mercury's estate. In recent years, Sony has been actively acquiring major music catalogs, including those of Bruce Springsteen and Bob Dylan and many others. As a YouTube reactor, this development could have interesting implications for reaction videos. If Sony acquires the catalog, they will likely control the licensing and distribution rights, which might affect how Queen's music can be used in reaction videos. It could lead to stricter enforcement of copyright claims, impacting the monetization of reaction videos featuring Queen's music. On the other hand, it might also result in more streamlined licensing processes, potentially making it easier for creators to obtain permission to use Queen's music legally. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. How do you think this acquisition could affect reaction videos and content creation on YouTube? Do you anticipate stricter copyright enforcement, or do you see potential benefits in terms of access to Queen's music? Share your opinions in the comments below. Alright, there's me trying to do AI. But I would like to know, um, what your opinions are. I just seen this today. It is from the actual magazine, Rolling Stone. And when I looked it up anywhere else, um, basically it says that they'll still be in control, Queen, uh, Brian May, and the rest, <coughs> the rest of anybody who has any, any, any say so over Queen's discography that the live recordings from now on and prior to, they will still have control over. Also, um, this will be something that probably won't take place for two more years. So that's what I got from reading deeper into it. Um, but it seems like it's a done deal without being done. Because I can't find any reports that say, that don't say this. In fact, you can just try to look up who owns Queen's catalog and everything will take you to Queen to sell music to Sony. But as for now, it's still capital, I believe. Anyway, uh, much love. What Queen song would you like me to do next? Let's go ahead and get some out of the way. <laughs> Um, I'm interested in hearing Brian's version of 39, or if there's something else you'd like me to do first. You want to go ahead and do live, Abe? Let's do it. Much love.